Our top story here at 6 o'clock, Oklahoma turns down federal money to help feed children this summer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. The governor says he didn't want to expand government benefits here, and he doesn't believe any children will go hungry. News on 6's Emory Bryan is live with both sides of the story. Emory? Well, Governor Stitt's assertion that no children will go hungry this summer does not match what subject matter experts in the field say is already happening. But for at least this year, Oklahoma is turning down an estimated $48 million that 32 other states and two of Oklahoma's Indian tribes are taking. The pandemic led schools and the government to create pathways to ensure children are fed, and one of those expansions will continue in other states, but not here. Kids are going to be fed in the summertime through the regular course of uh, the DHS programs. Governor Kevin Stitt is joining several Republican governors rejecting the expanded food benefits in part to avoid unknown conditions on agreeing to take it. We push back as the Biden administration has tried to uh, push social policies down uh, related to funding. So that's all. The $40 a month benefit for the three summer months would provide for just over 400,000 children. Experts say about one in five Oklahoma children deal with hunger. The Chickasaw and Cherokee nations opted in. Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskins said it was regrettable and bewildering that Oklahoma is abandoning federal funding and losing an opportunity. Joe Dorman with the Oklahoma Institute for Child Advocacy says the money could have helped. This benefit would have provided the opportunity for families to spend money at a grocery store, which would have in turn helped the economy and supported those local grocery stores, as well as providing the food that these kids need during the summer months. But the governor believes there's plenty of food available now. We're satisfied that there's not going to be kids that are, that are hungry in the summertime. Governor Stitt said late today he believes a better course would be to cut the sales tax on groceries. The Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma, based here in Tulsa, provided 25 million meals last year. And despite that, they say the demand is increasing. Inflation, of course, also having a big impact on families as they buy groceries. Reporting live in downtown Tulsa, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on 6.